Welcome to the Katie's Garden Guide to Pruning Perennials. I'm not Katie. We've got the canna lilies here. They're really great for giving you that tropical look. You can grow them in pots, you can also grow them in the ground as well. It does depend on the soil. Here in Newborn, we're pretty coastal in uh, Suffolk in East Anglia. It's a nice well-drained soil because that's one of the problems often with things that do end up dying off in the winter. It's not so much the cold, it can be that they just get really sodden in the soil and they end up rotting off. That's not a problem for us in Newborn because I said it's really sandy soil. Hardiness, I think it, they go down to about minus five, ten, which again, we don't normally have much of a problem with. You want to try and keep on top of the old petals because if they drop down they can end up spoiling the leaves. So it's worth if you're just going by, just take off any of the old bits that are going to fall and make a big mess. When you run out of any colour on it, like on this bit here, then you're trying to cut down fairly hard. I mean the way the plant grows these leaves are all wrapped around and that's what's making the stem is the leaves being wrapped around. But I'm going to go pretty hard down on this because it's a plant that it shoots from the ground so I think you're better off cutting all the way back and hopefully that will encourage fresh shoots to come up again and give us more flowers for the rest of the summer. A bit glary, but you can see here, so that's all that's been taken off there. And you can just see in all the shadows, I've taken it right down there and there's just a couple of leaves at the bottom. And hopefully more growth will be stimulated. <laughs> 